Welcome to Low Pwn Reviews, because after analyzing Twilight's Kingdom, I thought, you know, I have a lot of thoughts on these episodes, so why don't I jump on this bandwagon? Oh my, that's a lot of people I have to stand out against. Never mind, I'll just do videos with crazy edits to set my weight. That means I'll be using copyrighted imagery, and I have no desire to deal with Hasbro right now. Okay, I've got it. I'll look at My Little Pony merchandise I've legitimately bought, thus not tipping off any copyright bots. Here we go! Well, uh, I'm embarrassed, uh... This is the only piece of pony merchandise I own at the moment. Uh, I actually didn't even buy this. Uh, got it for Christmas. Still, I guess the best place to start is... Oh, wait, no, never mind again! I just found this book at my work! It's perfect! And you know what else I found at my work? This thing. I don't know what it is, but all the kids wanted one, so... Aw, oh, yeah. If that doesn't date the video, I don't know what will. What? Wait, do reviews like this usually have transitions? And here we are! Now, I think the first thing to start off with is the cover and just how lying it is. Oh, you thought it was just those tabloid magazines that have that? Nope, even kids ones will blatantly lie to get you to buy their book. Don't believe me? Let's just count the, uh, sins. Wink. On this cover alone. Six. That's six things already wrong. And that's just the eye catch, the part that gets your attention and makes you want to read what's inside. Of course, that's the point, since the eye catch is the only thing you're allowed to read before it becomes a crime, because shame on you for wanting to read a little fun thing they put in the back of every book. I mean, it's not like you're reading the whole thing, just the last page, and it's not like you're ignoring the customers to read it, so stop breathing down my neck. I know what stealing is and what's not. Seriously, it's no worse than me downloading videos for say, I mean. What? Let's tackle these lies one by one, as they will help to ease into the other issues of this book. First off, this book has over 200 plus characters, right? Mm. Okay, maybe we exaggerated. Let's say 150. Mm. 100? Mm. That's right, there are actually only 91 different characters in this book. Don't believe me? Let's go through them right now. <gasps> actually, I've got a better idea for this. And now, all the characters of Friendship is Magic, or at least those important enough to be in this book. Twilight, Rarity, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Spike, and Discord, Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Ember, Prince Blue Blood, and Prince Rutherford, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Babsy, and Pipsqueak, Silver Spoon, and Scootaloo, Diamond Tiara, Snips, and Sails, Mr. Cake, Mrs. Cake, Pound, and Pumpkin Cake 2, Big Macintosh, Granny Smith, Braver, and Blimp, and Beppo Bottoms, Wait, Who Is This? Flurry Heart, Gabby Gilda, Gustav Lagrange, Shining Armor, Thorax, Chrysalis, Sarah K, Yearling, Ace Point, Allo, Daring, Duty, Sandwich, Cherry, Jubilee, Chief Thunder, Hoose, Cranky, Doodle, Donkey, Matilda, Donut, Joe, Feather, Weight, Bog, Biceps, Color, Dooley, DJ, Pod, Three, Little Strong Heart, Lotus Blossom, Yulia Mild, Amethyst, Mesberry, Somehow Made It In This Book, Lyra, Heart Strings, Coat I Me, Miss Pomel, Miss Harsh, Sweetie, Hoops, Octavia, Melody, Hoity Toity, Flitter, Glad, Main, and Soren, and Spitfire, and Moon Dancer, and Iron Wheel, and Mare, Mare, and Filthy Rich, and Fancy Pants, and Sapphire Shores, and Prim, and Line, and Vapor Trail, and Sky Singer, and Trender Hope, and Zekko Ra, and Sweetie Drops, and Huh. So they'll give up Time Turner for Dr. Hooves, but still won't let us have Bon Bon. Starlight, Glimmer, and Trixie, Sunburst, and Jerry Lee, Jet Set, and Upper Cross, Mall, Pine, Lightning, Dust, Photo Finish, and Zesty Gourmand. And there you have it. All 91 characters. And notice how I say characters? Yeah, some of these aren't even ponies, and I'm not talking about those iffy pony characters like Discord, Cranky, and to some extension Spike. No offense. No, they put characters like Ember and Gilda in here, who I'm sure don't want to be referred to as ponies. And now that also goes against the next thing, a pony a page. I mean, I've already said these aren't ponies, but even by that notion I expect a character on every page. So let's look at a couple pages at random and see. Okay, there's a pony, and the next page, hmm. Last time I checked, lions aren't ponies. Or is this how the Griffins made it into this book? Okay, next page, yep, no ponies here. You are barely in two degrees of ponies right now, and that's not even official ponies. And the next page, oh hey, ponies! Oh, whoa, Hascon? I will so not be going to that. Not because I don't want to, because we all love and support Hasbro here, especially their official releases, no need to claim this video. No, I just can't afford it right now, but hey, anyone that does go, tell them Low Home View sent you. No, it doesn't matter if you're already planning on going, just say it. Spread the word. We need to get my name out there. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to self-advertise in the comments. I am doing this right, yeah? Yeah. I should be getting kill yourself replies any minute now.
Now for these posters. As for the larger puzzle, that's one line that's actually a benefit because the big poster is not made up of complex pieces you have to cut out, just very simple rectangles, so that's nice. But look at that. It's a pink background, not the yellow one you advertised. Now how am I supposed to proudly display this in my room? Actually, it does brighten up the room pretty nicely, and it may be a nice addition. Oh crap, that's my roommate. Anyway, that's the big poster. And now for these tiny, and by tiny they mean the size of the page. Yeah, tiny, just because you're associated with My Little Pony doesn't mean you have to emphasize it to sell it. And cute, yeah, they would be cute if they weren't filled with these advertiser-friendly models. And it's odd, because their actual character pages look more show accurate. Well, some of them do, but they're still cute characters overall. But you know what's not cute? Simple editing errors that take no more than three seconds to fix. You see this? Look how terribly placed Mr. Cake is above Mrs. Cake. Now how could I proudly hang this up when I can make something better and here, let's time it. And that is with the most basic of Photoshop and the vectors you clearly had. Finally, put shadows under these characters or don't. Now for one final thing with these character models, on the cover we have those uncanny merchandise models making you think, oh boy, that's what all these pages are going to be filled with. But interestingly enough, we have actual show quality models for Fluttershy, Pinky, and Applejack. Good thing too, because seriously, what's with these merchandisers reluctance to put a hat on her? Oh, it's so they don't have to make a hat accessory. No, we need to expend more manpower for making hats for Pinky and everyone's favorite, Royal Ribbon who I now demand to be in the Season 7 finale, because if she's not, I swear to Gloom Glam, I will go down to Hasbro and DHX, and I will take that Royal Ribbon doll and shove it- What?! Something I noticed is, where are they getting these show models from? I mean, the CMC have their cutie marks, Ra Ra has our new look, and the biggest thing is, Thorax is not only in his new form, but he has his pink heart metal. Now, these show accurate models aren't the best. Like, all of these are Season 7 accurate, except Babs. Seriously, how hard is it to put a cutie mark on her? I mean- you put one on Scootaloo, not very well, might I add. The show even gives you exactly what it looks like. Okay, there's no image of it on her, but I see you have the simplest form of Photoshop. Just like the cakes, it's a simple cut, magic erase, erase regularly, skew a little here, there. And then there's Gladmane with these unusually thin lines and also Flam's weird waterlogged mustache. And Moondancer is in her depressed loner getup. And, you know, that's fine, make her look a little different than her clothesless background pony Twilight clone appearance. Yet, you could have her smile. I mean, you didn't have any trouble making Zesty Gourmand smile. And I have no idea where you got this image from. The one and only time she smiles is this, yes, this is going my way smirk that Maud gets. And you know, I love these little phrases they put here, as just, this is the quote we want you to remember these characters by. You got nice short ones like Maud here, or oddly long ones like Octavia. You know, I wonder what they did for DJ. I think someone owns now acting some royalties. Seriously, if you want us to believe she's mute, then go all the way. I mean, this isn't like Scootaloo, where there's a legitimate fear in being truthful to her apparent disability as I can dash hopes of seeing her fly. DJ is happily living her life not talking. Like, this is where you can do a disability right. Just say, DJ Potent 3 actually can't speak, but that doesn't stop her from communicating her love of music to her friends. Boom, you've got a perfect character description and you fill the friendship quota. Ah, it makes me question the choice of some of these quotes. Like, Granny Smith here. Surely there's gotta be something from Family Appreciation Day. Or Apple Family Reunion. Something that shows the good from all those years of- Why is Granny Smith's go-to phrase always soups up? Because it's apparently the best phrase ever to describe her character! I mean, come on! How dense are you? What? And with that, let's move on to the final issue. The catalog of 200 characters. I mean, not mentioning a pretty obvious background pony exclusion from this lineup, and my personal second favorite, duh, decently characterized pony, Minuet. And considering how they decided on who to choose for this book, because seriously, if you can put apple bottoms in here for that one scene, then any pony who speaks with the name is qualified. It can't be that hard to reach 200 characters, right? Here we go. Nightmare Moon, Savoir Fair, Daisy, Rose, Lily, Twist, Dumbbell, Score, Fido, Rover, Spot, Sheriff, Silver Star, Ant Orange, Uncle Orange, Twilight Velvet, Night Light, Igneous Rock, Cloudy Quartz, Marble Pie, Limestone Pie, Cookie Crumbles, Hondo Flanks, Amethyst Star, Flair de Lee, Casey Turnip Truck, Dr. Fauna, Dr. Horse, yes, that is his actual name, I'm just as shocked as you, Uncle Apple Strudel, Nurse Red Heart, Owie Zoldo, Mr. Waddles, Garble, Cloud Chaser, Blossom Forth, Thunder Lane, Rumble, A Page for the Changelings, and A Page for the Royal Guard, King Sombra, Apple Rose, Anti Applesauce, Miss Peach Bottom, Dr. Caballeron, Surrey Polymer, I mean, you got the other two, Goldie Delicious, Fleetfoot, 
Toe Tapper, Torch Song, Zipper Whirl, Randolph, Seabreeze, Silver Chill, Claude, T Rex, Double Diamond, Party Favor, Sugar Bell, Night Glider, Troubleshoots, Tree Hugger, Steven Magnet. Yeah, kinda. He's got enough with Cranky and all that. Wait, where was I? Background, background ponies, yeah. Minuet, Twinkle Shine, Lemon Hearts, Sassy Saddles, Wind Rider, Spoiled Rich, Ma Hoofield, Big Daddy McHolt, Sven Gallop, Tender Taps, Dragon Lord Torch, Plaid Stripes, Mr. Stripes, Zephyr Breeze, Mr. Shy, Mrs. Shy, Coriander Cumin, Saffron Masala, Quibble Pants, Petunia. So that's 81 more characters, bringing the total up to 172. Hmm, there's at least 25 new characters already introduced in Season 7, but I won't count that yet. So let's just try to get to at least plus 175. So let me see. Oh, well, there's Star Swirl. He's a pretty big character. And, oh, of course, Flash Sentry. Oh, and with that, you can introduce Sunset. At least her pony form, and then just a little tie into Equestria Girls. Do a little cross promotion, get those new fans. So that's 175. Ah, oh, just one more to get it over that mark. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay, fine. That's right, Hasbro. It's time to finally take a stand. Just put her in. Just put in the name Muffins. It doesn't matter if that's not what the fans want. The fans want to call this one Vinyl Scratch, but what do you do? You give it DJ Pwn 3. Just put her in and leave everything else behind. And with that, we have over 175. So with all of this laid out on the table, in the end, I rate this book with all of its strangeness and lies an 8 out of 10. Because in all honesty, there is no false information. Kinda. And it does have a lot of variety from supporting characters to background characters to antagonists to villains. A good book to give to any new fan. Easily the best book. I mean, because it mentions the best character ever, Amethyst Mizberry. I mean, who doesn't love this character? Obviously the best part of the Crystal Empire. <laughs> oh, the best premiere ever. What? Thanks for watching, and join me next time where I'll be reviewing this picture of a 4-inch coloratura figure that I saw at my work. Just the picture, because I'm too cheap to buy the actual thing. Unless it actually sang like Lena Hall. <gasps> Forget the creepy Twilight robot, Hasbro. Make a singing Rara immediately. I will so buy that.